Hi, Floppy Catters. We got something new in the mail today. This one we're not going to officially review because it is cat food. So the reason I don't officially review cat food is because I frankly don't think that you can. Um, how, how do you review cat food other than for palatability? And to me, that's not really a review because you need to review it for nutrition levels, like how it works for your cat, you know, long term over a course of some time. So that's why I don't do cat food reviews anymore. Um, however, this is a food that this is the this is the new one that we haven't really gotten into the new flavor. But Zeewee Peak is a canned cat food from New Zealand. And this is one of their new recipes. It's a New Zealand mackerel recipe. But within this box are the two flavors that my cats really, really like. And we, they thrive on this one. Yeah, this is the rabbit. This is, oh, this is the one that Charlie likes a lot. It's a New Zealand rabbit and lamb recipe, and that's my Charlie. It's fun to open up cat food cans. Sounds like we're gonna get something to eat this morning. Oh boy, chick do. Chick do, chick do, chick do, chick do, chick do, chick do. And then, oh, this is, is this another? Oh no, this is the back roll of lamb. This is the other one they like. Man. Ugh. Working on it, woo. Working on it, woo. So this is the New Zealand mackerel and lamb recipe. And this is the one that um, Trig really likes a lot. What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? So the reason that I like to feed my cats this food is because it has no fillers, no added sugars, no added glycerin, no rendered meats, no potatoes, no grains, no rice, no soy, BPA-free can, no TSPP, and no, I don't know how to say that word, but it's a known carcinogen. So the, those are a few of the reasons why. Also because for some reason I feel like the meats sourced in New Zealand are safer than meats sourced um, in the United States sometimes. They make a three ounce, um, Obviously, they're they're from New Zealand, so they're on the metric system. But this one is their three ounce can, and then they also have a six ounce can. Uh, my cats do better on the three ounce can because they won't eat an entire six ounce can, and it will go to waste even if I refrigerate it. So I always order the three ounce cans. Anyway, let's open these up so you can see what they look like. They're they're kind of like a pate, but they're like a really thick, durable pate. So we'll open up the mackerel and lamb, the rabbit and lamb recipe, and then also the New Zealand mackerel recipe. Those are the three we got. We had rabbit rather recently, so today we're going to have the mackerel and lamb and then the mackerel. I like these glass panache bowls. They're different colors because uh, when I'm trying something new, like this New Zealand mackerel recipe. I try to kind of color coordinate. So this one has a blue teal on it and this one has a gray. So when I put these cans in the recycle, then I can just know that I put the mackerel and lamb in the green dish and the mackerel in the orange dish. I mean, you can always do like left and right too, but that's kind of how I go about it. So here's the mackerel and lamb in the can. And then I just use a fork to get it out. I kind of, I always go right through the middle, but I'm not used to filming, filming it while I do it. And then I like to add water to their food 
um, for their kidneys and stuff, and it also helps get those extra little bits out. So I add a tablespoon or two of kind of warm water. Long ago, I don't remember where I read it, might have been catinfo.org, but I heard cat's food should be served at mouse body temperature, meaning like a warm blooded animal temperature. So that just helps bring out the aroma of the food. I do not recommend microwaving your food, your cat food. My mom did that when microwaves first came out and it worked well for her for a while, but then she microwaved it too much and my cat Rags at the time burnt his mouth. He never would eat that food again because he associated the burning of the mouth with the taste and the flavor of the food. So you'll ruin food really fast if you do that. Here's the mackerel on the inside. And then spooning it out. Oh, I'll include a list to all of the um, ingredients to each of these flavors below. Obviously, you're gonna have mackerel in this one and mackerel and lamb in the other. Um, and then see how many bits and pieces in there. I'll just add water to that. And here's that water. And then I just mix it up like so. All right, ready to serve. And here's the rabbit on the inside. Pretty much the same looking, if you will, as the other two flavors. And again, I just use a fork to get it out of there. I try it when I scoop cat food I try not to uh, scrape the can very much with the fork. I don't know why, but it just is something that I do. Like the others, I add a couple tablespoons of water to the can, warm water, and then I swish it around to get all those little like bits and pieces and then pour it over the top, which isn't something you may you might not want to do that when you're first introducing a new flavor of food. And the reason I say that is because, uh, you know, cats eat based off of smell. So the stronger the smell, the more likely they're going to, you know, try it or want it or whatever. So when you add water to it, it might lessen that smell and then have them be disinterested. So usually when I'm trying a new flavor, I end up not adding water to it for the first few feedings to make sure they like it. And then I add the water. And the reason I add the water is because I'm under the impression that it will help their kidneys. So I lost a cat to chronic renal disease. So that's why I always go for the, the kidney stuff if I can. It's been four or five days since I did the first clips to this video and trying to get footage of the cats eating the food is so difficult. The reason it's so difficult to get footage of my cats eating is because they're so used to me putting the food down and then going to go, you know, start my computer for the day or start a load of laundry. They're not used to me being in their space, filming and talking while they're eating. So it's, <laughs> this is the footage you're gonna get of them eating the food because this is about as good as it's gonna get unless I were to spend my entire day trying to get the footage. You know what the food looks like, you know the ingredients of the food, um, and hopefully it will work out for your kitties if you're interested in trying it. If not, that's fine too. My mom's cats don't like pate, so this food would be, the Zeewee Peak in general, it would be hard for them, the, uh, the canned wet food, because it's pretty pate-like. 
Thank you so much to Zeewee Peak for sending us these cans to feature. I really like their food. I wouldn't say it's my cat's favorite food, but they'll eat it and we have a rotation of, man, one, two, three, four, five, six different um, flavors and brands, well, more flavors, but six different brands of food that um, I like to give my cats. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll also include links to these bowls and the mat in the description below, just because over the years of doing YouTube, people ask me for that kind of stuff. So I just proactively do it now. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our free weekly newsletter that goes out on Wednesdays. I'll include a link to it in the about section below. We'll see you next time.